watoto mbele kana enda nyuma ame akiwe unapendeza i but love is blind i i don't know if she is mine mkimuona uko nje mwambie naona giza ama ni we umerizimia this love is giving me some shivers akina shika fever hey yeah na je unifuatilie My baby, baby, you are pretty You make me smile Jesus. I can't believe you are doing this And you are my mother, I will be here For a while, you are a kid, you are a kid My love, my love, my love oh, oh. And you are a kid, you are a kid, you are a kid, you are a kid You are a kid, you are a kid Maybe there no oh, oh, oh. if this love is here screw we go away I want to screw with you I want to screw with you oh oh I lost me and you said to me when you were with us what people go give us and you go and Kandos via di vesti ni ti mise ni li o akiza Koi giza ni ku hoje se mi mi li o giza Ya so ten time bitches oya ma de mi si da I wanna feel like I'm not there Hakuna mtu anaweza ni teka But when I look into her eyes I give her like I'm in Ibeba Become a table like and all i want Pandisha ligi baby to a say to a say baby to a say and all I want Pandisha ligi baby to a say you are going you are not going to find this anywhere else I can attest to that I can promise you that you can in fact I'm giving you a mini to scroll through your channel then come back here because you are not going to find anything better than this these ladies and gentlemen is mizizi here too and they are doing fantastic at this point i i, I am tempted to ask for about seven more performances you know <laughs> so you just here and listen to good music karibuni karibuni sana guys it's, it's such a pleasure it's such a pleasure to have you i want you to say hello no joe of course to shaski i told you if you have not heard of mizizi here too you either living under a rock or something is wrong <laughs> so welcome welcome on board i want um you guys to say hello to people at home to ambien imagine yenu of course uh, and what um what um role you play in mrs yetu before we get to the conversation of the day we start with colin swan ama colin stu colin swan colin swan eh habari zenu nyinyi wote mtaani yetu kwa majina colin chege Collins Evans Chege Mwangi. Yes. Sina stage name na tutu Chege. Yeah. Uh, vocalist, <laughs> guitarist. Yes. One a seven of Mrs. Yetu. <laughs> yes. Representing the seven other members of Nature. Yes. yes. Amazing. A seven. A seven. You. That's a big band. Yeah. Yeah, that that is a huge band. We are going to talk about that in a minute. Collins too. Uh, <laughs> Collins too. Yeah, I go by the name Atinasi Bulinda. Yes. Uh, they call me Collins but he's Collins. Yes. Uh I am um, a vocalist, mm-hmm. a guitarist. Yes. I do vocal arrangements. 
Yes. And many many more. Mm-hmm. Uh I am a performer. You're a performer. I yeah. like that. Hurt. I am a performer. Yes. I love performing so much. So mm. I do performances for Mrs. Yetu when mm. we write songs together. Yeah. As one of them, mm. I am a team member. Yes. And we work together. You're yeah, also the second it. seven. Yeah, I'm the <laughs> second <laughs> seven. <laughs> yes, of Mrs. Yetu. Of Mrs. Yetu. Karibu yes. sana. It's such Asante a sana. pleasure. I am looking forward, hopefully, to having the seven members of Mrs. Yetu sometime. You know, sometime. But yeah. for now, we, we, we gotta work with these two and they are delivering. So I'm not mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad about the fact that it is just the two of you that are here <laughs> this morning. It, it is a pleasure, honestly. Karibu sana, Mrs. Yetu, to the building. Let's so let's get to know. Maybe it was a mizizi mizizi na kuna watu kadhaa home and one mizizi roots ni nini what what are we talking about <laughs> so um brief history about mizizi yetu band bolinda uh mizizi yetu uh i actually joined mizizi yetu after mizizi yetu was formed uh-huh. some years later yeah and they were actually doing acoustics mm-hmm. and covers and yeah it was it was amazing trying out stuff yeah. so mrs yetu came up as a group that supports art mm-hmm. freely you didn't have to pay to join mrs yetu yeah it was you could come for rehearsals and vibe along with the group yeah and it was so amazing you could come for a show or two mm-hmm. that we are doing without paying yeah it was for the community yeah and for people who are talented mm-hmm. to show up and feel free to express themselves all right so we were doing arts mm-hmm. We had some artists, we had songwriters, guitarists, instrumenter. He actually learned to play the guitar while in Mrs. Yeah. Yeah. So wow. it has been there for a while. Uh-huh. I think this is the sixth or seventh year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah so that's, it, a, that's a long time. Yeah, that's a long time. So yeah. before releasing music, mm-hmm. it took a while for us to decide that, wow. Okay, time in a go. Yeah. We have to do this. Yeah. We can just be vibing <laughs> year after year. We just vibe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So as time went along, uh Mrs. Yetu decided to come up with the band uh-huh. as a whole team yeah defined by our members mm-hmm. seven of them who will play for us and who will help us through the songwriting and the mm-hmm. processes of doing the music yeah so we formed our system i like to call it an organization because organization yet will you wengi yes yeah. apart from seven you also yet to yes so, I, i mean yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so Mrs. basically Mrs. that's mrs yet yes yes perfect um, um colin chege yes. um you mentioned you joined mrs in the year 2018 18, yeah. so did you like was it that you attended a function a friend recommended or exactly what happened um so the founding members of mrs yet to yes uh, I hope they're watching up on time. Yes. <laughs> to Brad and Eugene, the, yes. the, the two vocalists, the uh-huh. two other vocalists that are there in this year too. Yes. Uh, so what happened is I wanted to really play music. I wanted to start with the keyboard. Yes. But uh be a keyboard kidogo. Kidogo <laughs> eh. So I managed to buy a guitar yes. uh in 2018 mm-hmm. and I met Eugene now uh who told me like there's this thing we do yeah. if you want to learn how to play the best way is to play like to actually play it yes. so just come we those an open mic they usually hold mm-hmm. they used to hold that time yeah and uh, he told me come to the open mic just vibe with us if you don't feel like it's something for you it's okay yeah so the moment i stepped into that open mic image pata ko interview You are, <laughs> you are sold. <laughs> you really feel like a dream. Next week we have a Yes, I I am so glad because such opportunities come by once in a lifetime yeah. and for you guys to stick. Wait, are you are you a male only? Do you have females in that me- in that seven member band? Ah. <laughs> do, do you have an opening? We have we have an opening. Yeah. But I, we sing with we sing with a lot of a lot of amazing amazing female artists. Uh-huh. Um I think even more than us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we are four vocalists and we sing with about six other females. Yes. Other beautiful, beautiful, beautiful females. Yeah. <laughs> with beautiful voices. Yeah. All right, so okay. We are not we you are very welcome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I was concerned. No, no, no. Seven, seven gentlemen, ah. and not one lady inside. <laughs> so if you if you want to join if you are a lady out there, your vocals, you can play instruments, you you know, that yeah. is here to go look for them. And then you may just be part and parcel of the amazing team. Um so then you joined and you began a playing. I want us to go back to to believe 
Linda's um line of thought up until when you decided by the way, let's do this thing seriously. Like let's let's actually make this form this body, give it structure, give it um who is who is actually part of Mizizi. Um when did that happen? Uh, I'd say like Two years ago, mm-hmm. yeah, like two or three, maybe two, two years. Maybe two, two years ago. Two and a half. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Because the first time I remember, we were in a sitting room and we wrote a song. Yes, as a joke. Uh, okay. As a joke, and then, <laughs> and then a certain opportunity. By then, yeah. Redforth was on top of the table. Yes. So we had we had a certain show. Yeah. We said ah, you can come and audition. Uh-huh. If we like your performance, you'll do it. Ooh. And we showed up for Redforth. And the song we did, in fact, was a cover, but we are coming to do originals. Yes. But they will not understand our originals because they've never heard them. Yes. So we have to do a cover for you to understand what you want to do first. Exactly, okay. So we did a cover and it uh-huh. was in a different language. I think it was Zambia. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they had it and they were like, wow, you guys must perform. And that was the st- the first standing ovation we ever for. Wow, we, ever, yes. we ever got from people yes. that do not even know us. After so. that, I was like, hey, guys, to Kitokaba studio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We need to do these songs. <laughs> we need to do these songs. So I think after, after I think it was 2020, mm-hmm. after, 20, after 2020, at the end of 2020, yes. we decided let's go to studio. Let's start doing gigs. Yes. It's now. This is the time. We've seen that we have reception. Yes. And the reception is good, meaning you're doing something good. Exactly. So you have to work on it. Yeah. So we started working on it as a team and we formed, we looked for people who can play different instruments Mm -hmm. and can you write well, are you a good vocalist, can you work on your vocals and we started working on vocals and harmonies. Now I understand how he sings Mm -hmm. and he understands how I sing. Yeah. And two years later, we started releasing. Yeah. Because, you know, I had had you say you arrange vocals and I was almost like, okay, what what, what exactly (laughs) does that entail? Vocal (laughs) master. You know, because what does that even mean? (laughs) But but now slowly we are are getting it because seven people are one, a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So there there needs to be some sort of formation Mm -hmm. or arrangement for you guys to actually do something. Um, so Chege, could you um the the last two years or two and a half years or so, how yeah. have they been? Um <laughs> they've been amazing. Yeah. Um it's been a struggle. Yeah. But it's been amazing, yeah. yeah. We've written first it's been amazing because we've written so many songs. Yes. And uh I think the one of the the things that keeps me like going in this journey, mm-hmm. despite all the struggles, yeah. is we'll write a song and record it, not even in the studio, just us singing. Yeah. Then I'll go home and listen to it and I'm like, wow, I can actually listen to this music, yeah. you know? Yeah. So it's been amazing because we've been doing that. Mm-hmm. It's been a struggle because like music is is not all flowers. Yes. Yeah, especially not all vibes. Yeah, it's not all vibes, yeah. <laughs> when you're trying to achieve something, it's not all vibes. There's studio time, you yeah. have to rehearse. Uh, most of my Fridays have been taken by music because we rehearse the whole night, almost yeah. all Fridays of yeah. the year. Uh-huh. Uh, studio time, that's money. Yes. Uh, you have to, we have songs, we have like 50 songs and mm-hmm. we have to, you know, a singer has to perform, I yeah. think so. Exactly. If you If you really love the music, you have to perform. Yeah. But perform, per, but opportunities to perform in Nairobi, they're not as many as as they look yes so this made uh, like this prompted us to start running our own shows yes making our own gigs mm. which is an amazing thing but again costs a lot of money exactly <laughs> exactly yeah <laughs> so it's been hot cold bittersweet yeah but amazing is a good way to sum up the two years exactly yeah. i think it's it's a coin both sides you know you you have to yeah. experience both sides of the coin but i'm glad because two years or two years and a few months running it shows you still have not given up i mean you're here so you're moving song after song and we are we are loving if if whatever we have had is you know is but even yes, anything that looks like what you guys do, <laughs> you, you, you are doing an amazing job. So um, you have written songs, Collins, you've told us about 50 or even more. How many songs are out so far? Um, just three. Just three. Yes. So you have been able, from the beginning, yeah. 
to the end yeah. and and we love that because that is the thing i like about hearing artists say to nikona music kama mia moja like you know like if the if the if the stars align then content is not a problem yes because like you have said you can have as many songs but performing is a key part of you actually you saying you are a band the next question is probably where do you perform <laughs> you know or where can we listen to your music <laughs> exactly. yes yeah, yeah. so i i think you're on a on a on an amazing journey what was the first um song of the three to be released uh the first song was giza mm -hmm. the, the one we performed at the beginning of the show yes Ooh, uh, and we love yes we love that's, that's the first song yes yeah. how how uh, was people's reception to giza uh i don't know if mulina wants to take yes, this yes <laughs> you take this please one thing i can say is uh, I remember because by then I was handling the YouTube page. Yes. On Instagram, we had around 300 or 400 followers. Mm -hmm. I decided, okay, yeah. is this song going to hit? <laughs> <laughs> Are you even going to get to a thousand? <laughs> yeah. So uh, people were like, okay, let's do this. Let's do some shows mm -hmm. to get some crowd to, to understand the song and love it. Yes. And maybe we'll release it. So after people heard it for a while, everyone was like, is this song out? Is this song out? Yeah. So once we released it, mm -hmm. I was like, no, it's going. It, it, it's not <laughs> no, right. <yeah. laughs> but 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 I'm so happy to say that we are not yet at a thousand followers. Yeah, we are at nine hundred. Yeah, but the song is at six point, I think five thousand. Yes. Views. Yeah. So that means that people love the content. Exactly. And I'm so excited because of that. That gives me the the, the bright light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That the more I do it, the more it's going to get a better reception. Yes, and we are hoping that this one is actually the one the 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 interview that is going to get you to a thousand plus followers. Yeah. Yeah. Because honestly, <laughs> I think that, that is music worth a million followers. Yeah. It, it's really like you know you're putting it out there. What one thing I love about Kenyan music, good Kenyan music, it has such a signature. Like you 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 don't need to be. How vurutu iku kwenda kuskiza? Like you listen to it and you are you are hooked. Yeah. So I am excited because we are getting road to one thousand to one million as you go and listen to even bigger crowds and everybody. Um, so that happened and now you have three songs out. Has the reception gotten better? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say it's gotten better. Uh, according to uh, personally, I gauge reception according to how many people come to the gigs and how many times are you willing to attend it day after day if yeah. i say tomorrow you come yeah. so i've seen a couple of people mm -hmm. who are singing 14 of the 50 songs yeah and you have released three <laughs> So yeah. that shows me how many times you've been the, here yes they have been how many around times you love it exactly so yeah. uh i'd say that it's coming it's it's getting there uh, it's getting there yeah and as much as every every song won't get the reception that you want it to get, mm -hmm. because some songs are realized like ten years later, someone is like, "Ay, uli tu ingoma 2012." Yeah. Like she, <laughs> uh, so uh, I believe that some songs yeah. will lag behind, and some songs are going to hit that you didn't think they are going to hit. We are going to hit. So too. I'm just open for surprises. Exactly. This year. <laughs> that 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 is the music journey, really. Yeah. You know, you will get surprises along the way. But I love that you guys keep putting in the work. Collins mentioned something about you guys being um, in practice almost every other Friday. Um, and I'm, what do you do for for a whole night? Oh, <laughs> it's the whole night is not even enough. Yeah. Uh, 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 let me tell you. Oh, so, so, so this is <laughs> this is like our rehearsal daily uh -huh. at this point yeah so we meet almost on a daily on fast, a daily basis. almost on a daily yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the four vocalists mm -hmm. so we just meet and we rehearse vocals mm -hmm. we write depending on the day yeah then now we have studio time mm -hmm. where we meet once a week mm -hmm. for about four hours then friday the whole night so this whole night yeah we have we have you see out of these 50 songs yes we have we arrange songs in sets. Yes. So sets, we 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 are mainly focusing on one set right now. Yes. And a set has like twelve songs. Yeah. That's like a three hour, mm. a three hour, a two and a half hour. There about time yeah. timeline. So yeah. Long. So arranging these twelve songs is so much work. Yeah. We have we started. There's a show we're preparing for, very mm -hmm. big show. Yeah. And that's part of the reason we're meeting like that. Yes. And we started November, and yeah. we are halfway right now in arranging that set yes so when i'm saying it's a lot to be done mm -hmm. it's a lot to be we're only, we only halfway done yes. and we meet every friday from at night to 
till the sun comes up. Yes. Yeah, so it's That's a lot a of vocal arrangement. There yes. is the whole band because that time now we're playing with everyone yes. in the mix. Yes. So the Friday is the whole band. The whole All the band. members are there. Yes, dance <laughs> moves. <laughs> Vocals need to be arrangement yeah. Instrumentalists <laughs> need to know where they are. You know, they are coming in and everything. Yeah. That, that is a lot of work to do for 12 songs. Yeah. I can imagine by by, by a manner of the interviews I've had here, one song is already a lot of work. So I'm imagining <laughs> to get through 12, you need to put in the work. Yeah. But I am glad also because you are putting in the work. Yeah, yeah. So when when you, when the songs are out, when the, the set is out for us to listen to, then we know this is something that people have really, really invested and put their time in there. All right, fantastic. Let's now move on to the conversation of the day on how you guys landed upon Jacobiv. Let's 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 first and foremost let's start from there. <laughs> yeah. What does Jacob mean? <laughs> Jacob. Yes. Jacob. Jacob. <laughs> Jacob. Jacob is an amazing name. Uh -huh. uh, we have this tendency of making names that are just out of nowhere. Uh -huh. Yeah, because I tried when I was preparing <laughs> for this interview, I tried to put that name to mind, and I promise I am not horrible with names. <laughs> Jacob. Ja you know, not to confuse the syllables. So Jacob. Uh -huh. So Jacob is actually a composition of uh, the the seven names of the seven band members of, of ah, Mizizi. Okay. Yeah, so this this came about, you know, we, we were, this is the name of our EP actually. Yes. And we were arguing about how much, what we'll call the EP, yes. what the name is, what the perfect name is. Yes. And one day just someone said, this is just, the first EP is a composition of the effort that all of us have put in. Yeah. So everyone should have a piece of their identity on the, yeah. on the name. Oh, so yeah. that's how the name came up. Yes, yeah. Yes. So so break it down, Jacob, because the only calling is Hapo. Ah, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Jacob, Jafet. Yes. That is our MD. Ah, okay. Thank Big you. up Jafet. Yes, he MD. has beat them up. <laughs> yes. yes, MD, uh -huh. keyboardist. Uh, yes, that MD is music director. Yes. Evans, that's my name. Col yes. Collins Evans. Evans. Yes, you mentioned yes. Evans. Atinasi. Yes. Himself. Ah. Yes. Uh, there is a uh, Karani. Yes. That's our drama. Yes. And our our like I don't know what team we're given, but he's the one who's in charge of our recorded songs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, okay. Amazing. There is yes. Vincent. Yes. That's our bassist uh -huh. and our vocal arranger. Official one I'm side younger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Vocal arranger too. Yeah. Uh, there's Eugene. Yes. That's the other vocalist yes. and one of the founding members of Mizizi. Mm -hmm. And Bradley Wasonga. Last but not least, yes. the father of the group. <laughs> the actual founder of Mizizi. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, so the Baba Yao of the Baba Mizizi Yao. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh wow. So you thought <coughs> for a first EP, I think that, that is that is quite something. For the first EP, everybody, all your Friday nights are represented. In the name, you know, yes. you feel like yeah, I have been fully represented yes. in the first EP. Um, so how how many songs are in this first EP before we talk about the collaboration with the play? Uh, the five songs. Yes. So the three of them are already out. Uh -huh. That's Giza yes. on all platforms. Yes. Giza. Uh -huh. There's Low Love uh -huh. and there's Mariana. Uh -huh. So the, the other two songs, one will come out next Friday. Yes. It's called Bila Shaka. Yes. And the last one is uh that song is Imani. Imani. Yes. Imani. Imani. Wow, I love yeah. there's also a mashup. <laughs> <laughs> you know, who could done it? Yeah. <laughs> no love. <laughs> Imani. Imani. Don't go. Imani. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. How long did it take to put Jacob F together, Bulinda? Uh Jacob F the team or Jacob F the No EP? Jacob F the EP. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jacob yes. F the EP started recording on December twenty twenty two. Yes. Mm. So we, uh, it was in the midst of recording yeah. shows yes. overnight, yes. recording show yeah. overnight. So it it told on us. Yeah. So it took uh, around six or seven months yeah. of just recording and correcting, and could uh, you <laughs> we'll try it again. Eh? <laughs> There's something and looking for harmonies and trying to fix them. But the songs were written a long time ago. Yeah. But the recording sec uh, recording is a different. You know, we got used to live performances. Yeah. So recording came up as something new. It, it, it really took some energy from us mm -hmm. to just sit down and like, okay, so I'm going to sing alone. You want me to do my verse? Yeah. You won't get in. 
<laughs> just try, just try. Yeah. So it took it took a lot from us yes. to just sit down and try and record it. Mm-hmm. But it took six months or seven months for us to finish recording the songs. Yes. Yes. And and when you listen to any of the songs, like we've listened to Giza, you can tell you can tell that some some time was put in there you know maybe you guys have played it so many times it feels like it's a nice song but from outside the audience are amazed you sing it and we can feel every night you know we can feel every day that was put in there <laughs> put in. i'm feeling like we should listen to something right now <laughs> <laughs> i know i asked for two songs but something something just likely to remind us of how amazing the ogs that we have in the house yes <laughs> Let's try this one. Yes, please. Uh, let's do this. Uh, so this one is Imani. We haven't released it yet. Yes. Uh, it's a story poor behind it. Yeah. So so this is about Mapenzi Nairobi. Uh-huh. It has a lot of things. And people talk about uh, the bittersweet. Yes. But there's a common factor. Yeah. That in this bittersweet, kunule mtu anakangachia na sema si uamini tu mimi na wewe so there, there's this factor that eka tu imani na mimi even if things are going badly yeah i'm there wewe wewe uh, trust i'm there nakutia nakutafutia <laughs> we'll make things so so this is it yeah leo nimeshindwa kulala juko akili ni mwangu mami sijui kama uko sawa tu leo tumekula njaro ani basi mina kutafutia najua tutapata njia tule wote kwa hisinia na we unavumilia basi mina kutafutia najua tutapata njia oh Kwani you will lose bet Tu kuche Mashilingi yeah Lakini wewe utingiziki Atunapenda himziki Himziki Wasema kimapenzi nitajiri Nitajiri yeye Hata wakuje chini Oh aliwendo goli kupanta timiza ndoto zote usijali na andika na mwisho enta kulinda basi weka imani nami mpenzi basi weka imani nami mpenzi basi weka imani I'm convinced. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, that is such such a lovely song, honestly. Thank you, thank you. And thank and you. I I I've been here a while. Mm. So and uh, so I want to assure you that I'm not saying this because we are live. <laughs> this, is not, this is not for the audience at home, Amazing. but they can confirm because I know they are listening and you guys have fantastic music. Keep Sanctuary. keep doing what you're doing. Uh, you're going to go places. Sanctuary. Yes, please, please keep at it. Um, si change. Apo, apo tu. All right? <laughs> okay, let's talk about the play. Um, so let me know, how did Jacob, um, I, I'm, I almost want to say entangled or meet. <laughs> you know, the fact that this is happening in a theater, how did uh, um, Mrs. Zietu and um, Jacob, the EP, get to, you know, be part and parcel of a play? Let's start from there. What happened? Who did you meet? What conversations were had? <laughs> I think I think the story has like different views. <laughs> different yes, views. Depending, so on I think, depending on who you are. I think I can start. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Then you can continue. All right. So uh, before music, yes, I used to be a choreographer. Yes. Do mm-hmm. dances. Yes. Traditional dances, uh-huh. modern dances. Nice. Then we started writing and doing plays. Yes. 
because I I loved theater so much. Yeah. So I was into performing arts and I like to see it live, you know. Yes. I feel like on the, on the camera sometimes someone is like, "Okay, okay, okay. You're not crying. Let's do some rob." Yeah. <laughs> then, <laughs> but if someone decides to cry on the stage, everyone is like, "Yo, the emotions are all over." Yes. So, as I was in that section mm-hmm. of entertainment, mm-hmm. I had a couple of friends of mine. Mm-hmm. Uh that is Emmanuel Chindia. Yes. Sir. We have, we have uh, there are a lot of people. Emmanuel here. Emmanuel yes. here. Yes. Yeah, there are a lot of people. We had the beer gone, we had Faiz and Sanchez. Yes. Sir. And we were seated down. Mm-hmm. I took them because mm-hmm. they were not into live shows. They yeah. love it, but they hadn't been to the live theater. To actually, and just live watch. theater. Yes. Uh, so, some time back, I told them, let's go last year. Yeah. Let's go and watch something. So we paid for some tickets and we went as Mrs. Yeto and sat down. Which play did you go to? Uh, we went to, what was Chinda's play? Ja, Jaboya. Yeah, mm-hmm. Jaboya. Yeah. We yes, have... we went to Jaboya All and right. we were in the, some others before that, but I remember Jaboya so well. We have had the conversation on Jaboya right here. Yeah, it was an interesting yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, at see we are those people. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Clearly. Amazing. Yes. So, so we went to Jaboya. Yes, Jaboya the Lake Song. Yes. I, I remember that tagline. Yes, a very mm-hmm. amazing script by Manuel Shindia. Yes. And we were there watching and I was seated with Chinda and some of the friends of mine while you do it because now I'm conversant with the place yes. and they aren't. Yes. So they have to stick with me during that time. Yes. So I can show them the ropes. Exactly. How <laughs> yeah. did this so, work? We were, so we were seated and while we were getting out, mm-hmm. I was like, we can do something here, but we were not sure what we want to do here. Yeah. We were like, because we're used to live performances, yes. we can just do a live performance. Mm-hmm. But then when we went out and we started meeting a couple of people who have seen our work, Yes. And Emmanuel Chindia, who is one of our fans, <laughs> uh, yes. just told me, "Hey, sit for your play." And I'm like, "Yo, yo, yo, yo! You know, I know my guys. They can't talk to yeah. me. <laughs> they got a, it, It's good. Singing, it's good for can. marketing, but yes, acting, however, <laughs> but acting, they can. So we came up with an idea. Yes, as we were seated together, uh-huh. and I think you can sum up the brainstorming of the yes. idea. Would you kindly? So, um, I will, I'll start with how, like, my perspective of the journey, yes. which is still the same. <laughs> yes. uh, and then I explained the, exactly. the, what Jacob is actually All right. Is. So um, this was an idea uh, we had dreamt up, like, just to Leonga took his story. Like, yeah. when we imagine, I, I saw to Leonga to Flani and Neo, Akifanya storytelling and, and singing. Yeah. And I was like, to Leonga to Nongana, I think at Akolo. And we're like this in a like moving and at the same time, but there was no possibility. Yeah. So after they think a kupoki, because to your girl at your story. Yeah. <laughs> then after we went for that play, he came and told me, ah, bro, chingia kona idea, ya kufanya play na music, ya music, and then we were like mad. But to get chini to okay yeah. story, say. In detail, yeah. watcha to one. Watcha to one. We yeah. must do this. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. So what the Jacob actually is, it's. This is how I personally describe it. Yes. It's a parallel way of storytelling. Yes. So um, as musicians, us, let me talk about us. Yes. Us as musicians, yes. we strive to, to tell stories to our songs. That is true. That's, that's the, like, that's if we had a bass rolling it's easy, that would be it. Because yes. we have to, our music has to be drawn from a certain emotion, a certain moment. Yeah. So we, we express storytelling through our music, mm-hmm. but, they, we do not express it the way it can be expressed in a play. Yes. Same same way, mm-hmm. the play, they can't also express. Yes, they do tell stories, but yes. they can't express it as music. The way music does. So mm-hmm. this is this is Jakabev is a way of giving our audience emotions in all angles. Okay. You get to feel where the song came from. So this script, the Chindia, mm-hmm. big up Chindia, he wrote the script. <laughs> yes. So he wrote the script from the stories that we gave him mm-hmm. that were rooted from our songs yes. in the EP. Mm-hmm. So the, the Jakabev is from the EP. Mm-hmm. So he wrote a script combining all the stories. Yes. And now what we're doing is we are trying to give our audience an, express, an expression of this emotion yeah. from all angles. You get to see it. Yeah. Feel these people fall in love, 
feel them fall out of love yeah. and listen to the music and get to feel it at that particular moment. Exactly. Yes. It, it, it's like it's like you see when you have movies yeah. and they play some song. Yes. To give you a certain moment. Yes. But now we decided we'll play the music. Yeah. And then the movie will follow the music. Wow. If, if that is not calling you, <laughs> you know, if that is not making you ask me, Karen, when are the dates? When are the, you know, when is it happening? I, I don't know what will. Because I feel like this is our, almost as if you were watching a 3D movie, for lack of a better example. You know the way you watch movies on your laptops, TV, cool. But when you go to, to, the, to the cinema, you know, it feels like, okay, <laughs> We are, we are seeing the play of where this song came from. Oh, so this is what had happened. Like mm. all the angles that you could possibly see that story through is being presented to you. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Emotional, 3D, yeah. and this is new. This is exciting. Yeah. And for that purpose, and for that reason, I am going to be there. Okay. Manuel Chindel, I am personally, I am going to actually show up. Amazing. Because you cannot miss on such an expression. Yeah. What would you be doing with your life, oh, honestly? Yeah. Hey, hey. So, so Chindia put this down. So, um, Chindia is the writer. Who is yeah. the producer? Who is directing? So, Chindia is the director. Yes. Uh, and Mrs. Yetu as an organization yes. is the producer. Is the producer. Yes. And we we like that. Please tell us, tell us when, when, where, how much are the tickets? <laughs> so, uh, Jacob Ev. Yes, Jacob. The project. I like calling it a project because yes. it's something that hasn't been done before. Yes. If you've seen a song following a movie, you haven't seen a movie following a song. True. I am sure. Yeah. So it's something that hasn't happened before. Yeah. And it's revolutionary to music. Yes. So it's something that I'd recommend. I've already done a stage rehearsal. Yeah. So I have seen it and I'm still amazed. Yeah. How comes this thing is... And it's before my eyes. These guys are doing it. I'm like, hey, so I have to come in and sing this time. Yes. Okay. So it's on 27th. 27th. Of this January. That's four days or five days from now. Yes. That's on Saturday. Yes. We have two shows. We have one from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Uh -huh. That's the... I like to call it the smooth section. Yeah. Because it doesn't have a lot of... It doesn't have a lot of vibes. I, I get like one, two, three in a conga, like the serious people, yeah. like I have somewhere to go. <laughs> so we are doing it. The one, two, three, it has the heart in it. Yes. But it is kind of stripped down. It is kind of stripped down. You know, from 6 p.m. is where we have the people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the people. So 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. is a toned down version of it, but yes. it's still the same quality. Yes. It's like having a clean version. Yes. And having another version. <laughs> So we have one, 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 two, three. I told it's you, a clean it's version. 3D, you know, it's like yeah. you get everything. Yes. So if you're for suckingness, you know how to keep my We got you. One, two, three. One, two, three. This Saturday. Then the other one is from 6 to 8 p.m. Yes. It's about a two and two and a half hours show. Yes. And the tickets are at 1,000 bob. 1,000 bob only. And couple tickets. Is that 1800? Yes. And they tell money, people, you know? Yeah, yeah. They, they have to do something. Okay. Yeah. And they tell people. Yeah. Yeah. And they tell people. Yeah. And they tell people. And they tell people. But if you give us a reason as to why he or she is important for you yes. for that show, yeah. we give you a percentage off and yeah. give you a front seat ticket. Yeah. So, because oh. why should wow. we give you? Exactly. If she is important, tell us why. Yes. Just DM us why. Ah. And we'll give you 25% off. So, where are 25% <laughs> off? You're here. Uh, just uh -huh. tell us why. And then, where? Uh, it's at Kenya National Theatre. Yes. That's opposite. People call it Kenya Cultural Centre. Yes, sir. But I prefer Kenya National Theatre. Yes. It's opposite Norfolk Hotel. Yes. Next to UON, Campus Nairobi. Yes. Uh, you can walk from town. You can take a bolt. Uh, the hall is Ukumbindogo. Yes. After the main entrance is at your left hand yes. side. And it's easy to access. Once you get there, you'll see his pretty face. Yes. <laughs> He'll be waiting for you, saying hi to everyone. Yes. And we'll be ready to give you a wonderful show. Yes. 
Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. I, I hope that you, I will repeat these details on our art and calendar segment for you to get. So single tickets are going for a thousand bob. Couple tickets. Wewe na mpua wako mna imani. You can get your tickets at 1800 bob. Uh, the show is happening on the 27th. That is this Saturday. There is a show from 1 to 3 p.m. And another one from 6 to 8 p.m. Okay. If you can be there. Ukifika tu Kenya. You, you don't even need to ask two people. Just one person. Mnuliza tu kumbi mdogo iku api on your left from the entrance and you will be there. That's a Jia Hill story. Are we getting tickets? Do you want a ticket? Yes. Why not? Kwanza kwanza ni we. Unajua ni mizizi yetu. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's for everyone. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, sisi tu ndio the artist. Otherwise, yes. mizizi ni yetu sisi wote. Exactly. If you want tickets, you can get them. Where do you get them? How <laughs> someone get the ticket? Pale pale kwa IG yetu kuna yes. poster. Uh -huh. The it's on you pay by the pay, pay bill, sorry, pay bill. 247247 then there's the number 0792949445 09294 947924 okay bill 247247 yes. all right so get there just to their instagram tumayo 1000 your 1800 as early as now <laughs> Get your 1800 bob or your 1000 bob and get your tickets. Mimi ticket yangu na ticket ya mtu mwingine tunatafuta nyuma ya hema. Call in square na producer because my producer's mind is blown. Amazing, yes. amazing, amazing. So yeah, hiyo tunaongea hapo nyuma ya hema but we are going to be there. Regardless, however, whichever agreement we come about, we are going to be there. All right? So um, please be ready this Saturday. Let I, I tell you theater is 3D entertainment. Like you, 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 everybody, it's like a glass of wine. Everybody needs one every once in a while. You know, just get your tickets, go there, have an amazing two hours, two and a half hours of your time. I want you guys to invite people to the show. I know to Meongea, but we are wrapping up. You're out of time. Shege, start invite people to uh, Jacobev. Yes. <laughs> come to the show it's an amazing thing it's uh it's a very new idea that we have executed uh i think well and we have been able to collaborate with so many amazing people so i hope you are there i hope you come saturday 27th see you exactly see you there do you have anything else to add Colin? No, 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 no. I'll be waiting. For You'll you. be waiting for you. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Before I let you go to the last performance, what does the future look like for Mizizi after Jacob? Because you, Colin Saliwauza, Alisema, you are in studio day in, day out, working on something. <laughs> so, because I want us to have content for the next interview. Yeah, yes, yeah, what's, yeah. what's cooking? Uh, I'd like to say that this year, yes. we are doing shows that have never been done before. Yes, starting with Jacob. Starting with Jacob. Thank you. So we are not only going to bring you music. Yes. We're going to bring you every aspect of entertainment. Yeah. So stay tuned because February, March, yeah. April, 10 to 15 shows this year. That I promise you. Yes. You will see me until you get bored. Yeah. But I'm sure you won't Which get I bored. Which I doubt we can yeah. with the kind of yeah. content that you're yeah. bringing, you guys. Yeah. We are trying. We are really trying to bring every aspect of art. Yes. From artistry to drawing to mimicry to everyone who does dances yeah so every aspect of performance will be no show will be like the previous one exactly so if you miss this next year see you in the next yes. jacob and if you see this one there's going to be another one another that is going to be one. different from this one different from this one yes. tailored to your taste exactly yes ah we are excited that also means i get to see them many times here on the show you know Amazing. so i am elated and excited um chege remind us social media handles so that we can be able to follow you guy you guys up the youtube channel the the instagram the where we can find your music yes Music is everywhere. Yes. Every Spotify, Boomplay, everywhere. Uh, Mizizi Yetu. Mm -hmm. Instagram Mizizi Yetu. Two underscores at the end. YouTube is Mizizi Yetu. Mizizi Yetu. Yes. So we wait after two Mizizi Yetu. Yeah. Anywhere you're going to find and you're going to enjoy amazing, amazing music. Uh, it is at this juncture that I sadly 
want to want to close <laughs> this interview because this, this has been one for the books. Amazing. Honestly, it is one for the books and I'm excited. This, ladies and gentlemen, this performance is to give you just a taste of what Ms. Nizietu is about and what Jacobev will look like. You know, an example, you know, for example, this is how it is going to look like. <laughs> that is what this performance is about. Otherwise, that's where we put a full stop to our launch number one. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. It has been an absolute pleasure. Take it away. So this is Mariana. It's out, actually. Yeah. So to your Marianas out there. Yeah. <laughs> Mari Mariana, mm, one more time. Ni nani, ni Mariana. I wanna, I wanna marry Mariana. I wanna, I wanna marry Mariana. Mm. Mpenzi wangu Mariana, nataka uwe wangu we uwe wa kwanza. Nataka ni kupeleke hadi kwa mada Ni muambi yeku wani wewe mina afa Pezi maria ni kufalie Unipende baby unizalie Tuishi na tufurahie Juni wewe nataka Si mwisho wa safari But vile mina fulika ni gari Mama, Gata, to wash it, to wash it, to wash it, not it, to do this, the lens is it to Zakupate. We're making love to command it. He come as if he had to jale, to wash it, to wash it, to wash it, not it, to do this, the lens is it to Zakupate. We're making love to command it. Ni kama sisi hatu na sasa siku pigi simu akiwa la unani zingua sum uta onge ama umeku abubu. Cause I like you, girl, and it's true, true. Na sasa sito weza unani kalia na umekawia na zangu hisia zina di. Utani tuwashe, tuwashe, tuwashe nare Turudi zile enzize tuza kupate We making love to come on To come on the baby Kama sisi hatujale Tuwashe, tuwashe, tuwashe nare Turudi zile enzize tuza kupate We making love to come on the baby Kama sisi hatujale Kupiki
be loved is to feel the sun from both sides. This is here to welcomes you to Jacobeth, an EP release theatre experience like no other, happening on the 27th of January at the Kenya National Theatre. See poster for more details. <laughs> 